Hi everyone, Ashlyn Giza YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about low estrogen. So in one of my previous videos, I talk about reoccurring UTIs and um, I kind of talk about how I have, I, even when I don't have a UTI, I kind of have pain in that, you know, the vagina area. So I went to my, an OB specialist um, just like I had mentioned in one of my previous videos, and I found out what is going on. So the reason why I've been having um, pain in the lower area is because I, I have low estrogen, I guess. So estrogen p plays a huge role in um, a woman's body, and I will I wrote some stuff down, so I'm going to read all of that and I will go down the list and explain everything. So if you have low estrogen, it can cause headache, depression, anxiety, and you can suffer from brain fog. Kind of funny because what was my last most recent video about? Brain fog. So um, then uh, low estrogen is a growth hormone um, that creates the lush tissue in the vagina. Um, it, this is what it affects. Low, this is what low estrogen um, side effects are. Um, dry skin, losing hair, um, uh, vagina um, pain or, or different situations, bacterial infections. Um, bladder infections it can just affect the bladder in a whole um you, it can affect your heart your brain and your bones if you have low estrogen again uh it low estrogen can cause um wrinkles um it can cause um loose skin and um it can cause painful sex um, it can cause the vagina walls to become thinner and it can cause you to have tears in your vagina during sex um, if you're low in estrogen because it, if you're low then you can get drier down there and you can cause it can cause um, pain and tears down there um, also it can cause a saggy bladder so your bladder will um, be feeling really painful and stuff like that and it you can leak urine and stuff so and then um it can cause thinning of the urethra and it can cause um let's see sorry my handwriting start sometimes hard to read it can increase the risk of bacteria any entering the bladder when it when and if the urethra is thinned so, um, as, as you can hear, there's a lot of things that low estrogen can do. And it, like right when the OB specialist had mentioned to me what she thinks it is, looking back, it sounds like this, she's right. It sounds like she's nailing this on the head. Now, mind you, she, this is kind of a test and run because this is just what she thinks could be happening. So what she told me to do is she gave me some of this i can't really pronounce it that well but i'll try my best primarian um vaginal cream which is a um con conjugated conjugated estrogen and um what you do with it is you remove the cap from the tube screw the nozzle at the end of the applicator Gently squeeze the tube from the bottom to force sufficient cream into the into the burial to provide prescribed dose by your OB and use the mark stopping points on the applicator to measure the correct dose prescribed by your health provider. Now she told me to go all the way to um, the one so I'm going to show you guys how much that is how much I have to take so. Here's the applicator, and if you go like this, it shows the number one. So I, if this is all the way down, I want to squeeze the cream all the way until I see that one. And then after I do that, I want to 
Unscrew the applicator from the tube. Lie on, on, on your back with your knees drawn up. Um, deliver the medication gently. Insert the application deeply into the vagina and press the plunger downwards. So you want to take it, and this again, this is clean, obviously. I'm not going to touch a dirty applicator. You take it when you get the recommended dose. Stick this in and push this down. And then you want to obviously cleanse the, the plunger uh, and uh, wash with mild soap and water and your hands too when you're done doing that. And then um, what my OB specialist told me to do is the remainder of the cream that um, you do not use that's on the tip of the applicator, you want to just swipe that on that kind of outside of your vagina. And then she also had gave me this re-PH, um, re the refresh is what it's supposed to say, but it has the P and the H, you know, kind of like a pun, which is kind of funny because I make a pun video um, and I explain different puns and this is kind of a pun because obviously refresh is, it has an F in it, but um, it ta this is talking about your a woman's pH, so it has the pH um, uh, to re um, fill in for the F. But anyway, so, sorry I got distracted because I'm trying to read this. I was going to read this and I'm trying to talk to you guys at the same time. But So what this does is it balances the pH, it eliminates feminine odor, and it relieves feminine discomfort. So this helps too with what I, I'm going through. Um, and then she also gave me this. This is called Replens Moisturizer. So, and what this does is it's used daily to soothe and relieve external dr vaginal dryness. Um, it has vitamin E and pro-vitamin B5. And... So what this you do with this one is apply a fingertip amount to external external vagina area. Use as needed or daily for continuous comfort and nourishing relief of dry external vagina skin. Um, use as much as desired. So this is a daily use. This estrogen cream is not a daily use. You want to use what the doctor tells you to do. I mean, if she tells, if a, if an OB or doctor tells you to use that every day, you want to do that. But mine did not say use that every day, so I'm not going to because there's things about estrogen, more things about estrogen than what I just mentioned. But you guys can Google it. You can ask an OB doctor. You can ask a um uh your family doctor. Um, just talk to a doctor about it, but they'll tell you about estrogen. And I've read um, about this online and watched YouTube videos about it, that if you take t too much estrogen, it can actually cause certain cancers, S it, like breast cancer is one of them. So uh, with me being a cancer survivor already, I don't need to risk myself of that. So my, my OB specialist... Um, really asked me a lot of questions before she gave me all this stuff and um, knew that I was a cancer survivor and and knew what medications I, I, I take before she prescribed me any of that or or let gave me any of those samples so um, that that shows you how you really want to talk to a doctor before um, you go off and just use any dose of estrogen. Even if you're in the worst pain ever, you don't want to use more than what the, uh, doctor recommended just because of those reasons right there. Um, certain amounts of medications can cause, um, side effects and, and can cause certain cancers. So you want to be careful. But, um, those are the things that she gave me and I'm glad that I got somewhat of an answer like I said at the beginning of the video, I mean, she can't say, yes, this is what it is. She can just, for right now, say, this is what I think it is. And then have me try that and see how things go from there. Because, let's say I do this and, I'm, and it's still not working and things are still the same way. That means that we haven't found the problem yet. So, for now, I have somewhat of an answer. 
Um, and, you know, I, I'm thinking she's right because everything points to it. Like I said, I, I have the, everything that she kind of said that, that you can have with low estrogen. I have, you know, the sometimes dry vagina, the, um, headaches, um, mood swings, uh, and pain down there. So, and I've been checked for, again, I've been checked for STDs and I'm clean. I have no STDs. I have no um, bladder infections or vaginal infections or or extra bad bacteria or anything like that because they tested me. So I'm thinking she's correct because, well, I mean, what else could it be? And, and it's just funny because I wrote a lot of things down and one of the side effects from low estrogen can be reoccurring UTIs and what do you know, I get those. So... I think I have the answer. We'll see, but I'll do one uh, part three to the this u reoccurring UTIs and estrogen video to keep um, you women out there updated in case you're going through the same thing I am because I will have and and men I apologize if you um, are following my channel and you're watching this video, um, but I I get reoccurring UTIs all the time. I get. I have leakage of urine, so if I'm coughing or laughing, I'll have a little bit of urine come out because I'm a mother of four, and if I would have um, actually carried my other three babies, I would be a mother of six right now, so I mean, my bladder and everything in that area, it's just getting old. I mean, I'm 36 in three weeks, everything's just getting old, <laughs> you know, and so... Um, that's what's happening, but I, I wanted to make this video to share with other women, so if you're having the same symptoms of me, you can talk to your OB or your family physician and see if this is might be what, what's happening to you. Um, that's why I always make all my videos that I make, so if people are going through what I'm going through and they don't know, they don't have an answer, then they I might um, be the one to be able to be the one to show them that this may be what they're going through. Um, or I make it so people know that they're not alone. So anyways, I thought I would hop on, talk about that, and I will be on with another life topic tomorrow. Thank you.